All right, so we've reached P3 in the backswing. Now we're going to talk about how to get to the top, which is the easy part. We've done a lot of the hard work. We've managed the center of mass from P1 to P2, P2 to P3. Now we find ourselves lead arm parallel to the ground. All we're really going to do right here is max out rotation and max out extension of the trail leg, flexion in the lead leg, rotation of the pelvis, and a little bit of extension of the T-spine or the thoracic spine, right? So from three to four, it's a big turn with extension. Pressure moving firmly into my right heel, staying on the instep, not rolling outside. You don't see a lot of translation or movement of my head from three to four. You see me staying pretty much on center right there. Okay, so from this view, again, all I'm really doing from there is I'm maxing out rotation and extension. If you need to lift your left heel up off the ground to facilitate that, that's perfectly fine. Most of my, most of our viewers are going to need to do that. We, it's all about creating the most rotation so you have a chance to hit the ball as far as you're physically capable of. From down the line, we've gotten to here in the backswing. Our hands have moved back, up and inward. And a key thing here, and this is where I see a lot of you guys miss, is I want that depth to continue. I want you to continue to get the butt of the club traveling away from this golf ball. Okay, if you'll remember, at P3, my left wrist was in a little bit of flexion, my right wrist was in extension and bent back. I want to make sure that I kind of maintain that wrist alignment and I don't get into cupping it to try to lengthen my backswing or flexing my arms to lengthen my backswing. I want you to lengthen your backswing by how much you can turn and rotate your body. And again, I'm giving you the freedom to lift your left heel off the ground if you need to. But what I don't want you doing to fake your, the length of your backswing is bending and flexing your arms or cupping your wrist or letting your grip loose. All these things I see players doing on the lesson tee to get to the top of their backswing. So again, we're trying to move back, up, and in. And from three to four, extend. So when I say extend, I'm talking about the pelvis going like this, I'm talking about the spine going like this, and what it looks like from here is that. So there's my extension from three to four. We've already set up a pathway for this shaft to have some neutrality to it. Neutrality, neutrality means that there's no specific position at the top we're trying to achieve. If the shaft is a little over here, I'm fine with it. If the shaft is a little crossed up, I'm fine with it. As long as you have rotated, turned, and gotten as much depth as possible to the butt of the club. Okay? So again, one to two, two to three, three to four. So right there, I feel like I'm pretty deep. I'm rotated about as much as I can, depth to the butt of the club, and I'm ready to make a transition move. 